June 19th. Juneteenth. I grew up in New Jersey, and as a kid, I had no idea that June 19th was such a significant day for so many people across the country. In my community, we actually celebrated 1863, the year President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation declaring that all persons held as slaves are and henceforward shall be free. For so many slaves, though, emancipation didn't actually happen when the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. In fact, the slaves in Texas weren't free until June 19th, 1865. Justifiably, it sparked a celebration. And for over 150 years, Juneteenth has, for many black Americans, been like what the 4th of July is for many others. But as more people learn about and begin to appreciate this day, I think there is a risk of oversimplifying Juneteenth. And if we do, we'll certainly miss an opportunity, perhaps one of the biggest opportunities for our country to really come together and to share stories of the beauty that has arisen from the ashes of our past. On June 19th, 1865, the Union General Gordon Granger issued General Order Number 3. It said the people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the Executive of the United States, all slaves are free. It's so hard to imagine what hearing these words would have been like as a slave on that day it would have been the first glimpses of hope revealed for so many people who had never known what freedom was, but always hoped for freedom. Justifiably, they were exuberant because slavery had disrupted families. People had been dispersed to different plantations. The first quest of the freed slaves was to reunite with families. And the celebration of June 19th in 1866 was the first anniversary of Juneteenth. What was realized that day in June, 156 years ago, is that America is a nation that has the capacity to self-correct and right its own wrongs. And that lesson is more important today than it's ever been before. All kinds of cultural and family celebrations mark Juneteenth all across the country. It's a time for family reunions, barbecues, rodeos, block parties, and even parades. But as much as Juneteenth is a celebration, it is also a sobering reminder of the evils of our past, of all of the suffering, subjugation, and oppression that Black Americans have endured, and of how far we still have to go from the murders of countless black men and women at the hands of the police, to the disparities in the criminal justice system, education, and the lack of economic opportunity, and so much more. But our story is one of triumph and perseverance. Juneteenth is a day where we celebrate resilience. It's a day of struggle, of love, it's a day where we celebrate the founding principles of our country. Principles so ambitious that we'll always have something to strive for. So this year, I would invite you to celebrate Juneteenth if you never have before. Participate in the celebration and in the struggle. Recognize that change is possible, but that you have a role in making that change happen. And if we all stand together, united in our common desire to solve our problems, then there is no challenge, there is no obstacle, there is no barrier we cannot overcome today. <laughs>